good thing with these, first of all, they are virtually unbreakable, okay? They bend and they flex as you use them, and it's got a double-edged blade. And what I mean by a double-edged blade is the simple fact that you can use that both ways, backwards and forwards. So if you want to shred things like cabbage or lettuce for your salads and your coleslaw, it's quick, it's easy, and it's simple to do. So white cabbage for salads and coleslaw, maybe even a bit of red cabbage for pickling, okay? It does it equally as good, and like I say, it's nice, easy, and simple to do. That's how you'll do your cabbage for your salads, coleslaw, stir fries, etc. If you want to do something like onion, slicing the onion, it couldn't ever be easier, right? The easiest way we always find is just to place it on a fork just behind the root. That way, you're going to enter virtually the last bit, but all you do is just simply flick it straight through the blade. Now, you can do that straight into a bowl, you can do it direct into a pan. You've now got a fabulous thin slice, okay? And it doesn't matter what you want to slice, okay? If you want to slice things like carrots, cucumbers and courgettes, you'll get a perfect slice each and every time. Whether it's a hard or a soft vegetable, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't matter. If you draw it along the vegetable, you'll also get the ribbons out of there as well. And it doesn't matter what sort of vegetable or what sort of fruit it is. Hard or soft vegetables, you'll get a perfect slice each and every time. Now, we mentioned slicing. If you want to slice a block of cheese, I'll guarantee you that's the easiest way to get a perfect slice of cheese each and every time, right? It's all the same thickness all the way through as you can see. That's how you'll do the slices. If you want to use it for peeling, you won't buy anything better guaranteed. Remember, you've got a two-way blade. You can use that in a backwards and forwards motion. You take the skin off and nothing more, so the waste is absolutely minimal. And you can use this on carrots. You can use it on parsnips. You can use it on swede, right? If you want to use it on hard-rooted vegetables, things like swede, I'll guarantee you now with that, you'll go through that like a hot knife through butter, as you can see. Even for the butternut squash, probably even more difficult, you'll do that in the same way. And for peeling pineapple, dead easy and dead simple. All you do is draw it along the same way. You'll take the skin off pineapple, dead easy and dead simple as well. Now on the side of it, you've also got a little scoop there. You know, for the bad pieces in your potatoes, just simply pop them straight out. If you also do that with a soft cheese, you've got an instant melon ball as well. And finally, if you want to make your own crisps, you can slice your potato, drop them in hot oil. You've got your own crisps in literally seconds as well, okay? Now, you'll do all the fine slices there, no problem. If you want to shape in your slice, have a little look at this. In fact, I'll show you from scratch, right? Because if you want a little shape in your slice, all you do, use the little triangle on the opposite side and you simply score it straight down. The more times you do that, the more of a pattern you'll have in it each and every time. And all you do then, you flick it straight through the blade. You'll now get the nice little flower design in there as well. Makes it look a lot more interesting, as you said. Now, that is what the black one will do, the peeler shredder slicer. Your blue one has got a row of teeth in it. It's a completely different blade, and this is what they call the Julien cutter. All you do with it is you just draw it along one way. Now, you can use that on your carrots, dead quick, dead easy, and dead simple. You get perfect Juliennes every single time. If you want to do the courgettes for what they call the courgette spaghetti, which is what they go on about now, the healthy eating, they'll do the courgettes for you in exactly the same way. And remember, whether the vegetable's hard or soft, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it makes no difference. So even real hard vegetables, parsnips, sweet, butternut squash, you can do a julienne of those in exactly the same way as well. And if you want to shred the cabbage even finer than we did it earlier, something like a Prussian salad or a real fine coleslaw, Use this one on your cabbage as well. It'll do it even finer for you as you can see.